Hello everyone. I am actually going to talk about um, shamanic healing. And I really don't know anything about it. I just bought this book this weekend. It's called The Book of Shamanic Healing. Okay. It's by Christine, I don't have a color there, Christine Madden. And I actually went to a shamanic healing workshop this weekend for the very first time. I have never heard about, well, I've heard about it, but I've never been into it or, I'm sorry about that, never had an interest on it or even thought about having an interest on it. Um, until I heard a podcast the other day about animal totems, which caught my attention. And I bought this other, I bought this deck, which is called the, which I'm probably going to be showing very soon in the, in the YouTube um, page. It's called the Man Managery deck. Okay, it's, re it's regarding animal totems. Um, it, it didn't, I mean, it's a very nice deck, but it has also to do with, um, um, how can I say this, mystical animals. Um, so I'm going to be showing this as well in the, in the future. But I am really, really um, interested in this, and I took a workshop this weekend. And it was very, very interesting. Um, basically, shamanism is having to do with healing people. Um, having a shaman is a person who, I guess, communicates with um, other worlds. And there are three worlds in this in this life that we don't know. Um, basically, traveling, journeying, as they say. Uh, journeying to other levels, other worlds, and there's a there's a higher level, there's a low level, and there's a, a middle level. So there's three worlds basically, and um, that's what I was briefly understanding in the workshop and um, hearing from this podcast that I was hearing. And this book um, has to do well. I took this workshop. Let me go back to where I was at. I took this workshop and it had to do with creating a sacred space. I have always been very interested in uh, altars, uh, creating an altar. I don't have an altar. I've had altars in the past, but nothing major, just, you know, my, my angels. And, but I have never actually took care of it or really into it. However, I've always wanted to have one an ongoing altar and I just haven't had the time or I really haven't gone into you know into it so I came across this workshop this weekend um, and it had to do with creating a sacred space uh, a sacred altar and it was based on shamanism on the shamanism teachings and basically they showed us how to do an altar um, mesa as they call it it's uh, getting an altar cloth and you would put the three worlds in that cloth which is your upper world which is heaven then the middle and then the lower world and the lower world not necessarily has to do with negative energies it's, it has nothing to do with that it has to do more with our fears or our unconscious now this book um, in the back talks about, I just got it this weekend, so I really haven't read a lot into it. But it says here how to create your sacred space, how to do healing ceremonies, how to partner with your drum to create healing, develop your shamanic and psychic abilities, free your voice and see your power song, communicate quickly and easily with your spirit guides, explore your shadow side, perform soul retrievals and extraction safely. Use dreams, stones, crystals, and colors in healing work. Connect in the universe, in the healing universe, and live in balance. So it's a very deep subject. I don't know a lot about. What has fascinated me is the healing part, and 
that you could create a, a beautiful altar and you don't have to necessarily work with specific you know you could work with angels and you could work with other spiritual guides um, there's also animal totems and that has also f caught my eye as well on how to work with them I'm, I'm still like amazed and I'm trying to find out more information because I really don't know any much at all um, so I create I created this video because I wanted to just share with everybody my new uh, new topic of interest and to see if anybody else knows more than I do and would love to email me and we could share ideas and and if you know anything about shamanism please email me let me know um, I actually got like I said this um, book and it's actually a deck I'm sorry a deck it's called the Menagerie it's by Michael Leslie and I asked it was a, it's a 40 let me see it's a 44 I believe 44 card deck it's all in animals and animals are supposed to be spiritual guides so it's like an angel basically they're angels and each animal has their medicine or they call it angel medicine I mean animal medicine I'm sorry and if you need abundance you can ask for a specific animal totem and they will you know help you in that manner but it's all having to do with meditation strict meditation and all the things that you can accomplish you can even visit other worlds and all kinds of things uh, it's very very interesting to me it's like fascinating so if anybody knows anything about shamanism or healing or animal totems and how to communicate with them or how to you know invoke them to you know to bring good all kinds of healing work and help people let me know email me and um, that way we can share but yeah that's basically it I just wanted to share my new interest and um, if anybody knows about anything that I've mentioned or anything else let me know I love to learn I am a I am a learner I really really love to learn about all kinds of things uh, I all new age I'm really new age person so I love holistic medicine um, even though I haven't really you know gotten into workshops or anything like that but I have I love it I love yoga I practice yoga I love um, crystal healing which I have bought some crystals but I haven't again gotten into program I mean I programmed a couple of them like this one that I have here the angel light which is supposed to be about angels and having some, helping you develop that stronger connection so that's what this rock's supposed to mean and I actually already programmed it I'm sorry about that I actually programmed it for that and I use it in my readings but I have other crystals that I bought and I haven't had time to program them even though I already cleaned them and everything but I haven't programmed them yet um, but yes so if you know anything about that or about uh, crystal healing or anything like that let me know and um, again I also bought a book about tarot spells and um, tarot magic and I haven't been able to read the whole thing yet either so but um, the tarot magic it does work um, I had done some tarot magic in the past and it's worked phenomenally I just haven't done it yet uh, recently I would say this year I haven't done it so it's very interesting as well but uh, let me know and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and if you would like to see more of these videos from me, let me know. Bye.